Hi guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. Today we're going to show you a problem with the airbag light on a Audi. This one is A4 2003 model. And, and they have a specific problem. Those cars, they have to tend to get the airbag light on. And when you diagnose it with the software, with the vacuum, that's what you're going to get. 01217 side airbag igniter driver side, upper limit exceeded. So we tried to reset it. And after you reset it, the code comes back and the light is still on. So today we're going to show you how to, how, where the problem is and how to fix it. In our case, we'll be fixing it. And it, we will need for that purpose to remove the seat. If you have manual seats, it's fine. We can, because we need to go ahead and unhook the battery now. If you have power seats, you will need to unhook the battery after you remove all the bolts from the seat. So you need to open the hood and locate your battery that is right there and you need to remove the positive cable and the negative cable as well, both of them just for safety. We will need to scoot the driver's seat all the way to the back and right now right there there is one clip that we will need to remove with a flathead screwdriver. Those tend to get stuck there pretty good. Okay we got it loose and this is the clip right here we have one on the left side on the left rail as well so we need to remove this one too right here okay now we are ready to remove the rails the clips are not holding anymore so you can just slide them out of there those plastic covers for the rails and now we need to use that special socket that they there for Volkswagen and Audi Porsche use them to M10 and we need to use it to remove this bolt right here. Okay, we got this one loose and this one loose on the right side as well. The same bolt, two of them. You just need to remove them when you're done. And now we need to slide the seat forward all the way. Okay, now in the back of the seat right there, there is one more clip on this side and one more right here so we need to remove them again with a flat sketch screwdriver and just pull them out now with a t20 star looking bit we need to remove two little screws that hold up the cover for the rail a plastic cover one here and one on this side so we need to remove both of them and we will be able to pull the covers off and reach the other two bolts and remove the seat okay like that and you just pull it out the, the right and the left one and now again with that M10 special tool we need to remove the seat bolts on the back there is one right here and one on the other side okay we got that bolt loose pull it out and the one on the other side as well okay now under the seat we have that cover you pull on the front of the cover right here and you just pick it up and pull it out and now there is two little notches that we need to get together right here so we can pull the wires out. And now we need to unhook all the wires. And you can just use the screwdriver, it's kind of hard to get a good shot just to open the clip. Okay, like that. One there. And the one for the airbag, it's actually on the side towards the passenger and this side, two of them that you need to hold. So you need to press both of them at the same time and pull it out. Okay, now this is the connector that we will need to replace with just two wires. And as you can see, we have the information that this is an audio proof repair techni technical service bulletin for this repair. So what we need to do, we need to unhook it and Remove it from this bracket right here. Okay, now you pull it out. And now we need to just pretty much cut the wires right here and right here and use extension wires and connect blue with blue and black with black. And now we're going to go ahead and cut them. Okay, like that and remove the connector. So now we need to use two wires to extend those and connect both blue with blue and black with black. Okay guys, now we need to clean the wires and peel them a little bit so we can actually use extension wires and put them together. 
Okay, we're going to use those connectors. One of the wires goes on one side and the other one goes on the other side. And you need to use the pliers to squeeze them so it holds the wire together. You have to squeeze pretty hard, but make sure that you do not cut it all the way. Okay, the wire is good. Okay, we have two wires. One is with red ends and one with blue. So we can distinguish them and now we need to start on one side and we need to do one wire at a time. So this is the black one now. You just insert it and just smash it with the pliers again so the wire will not come out. And now we need to do the other side the same way. And after that we need to do the blue wire. Just identical to this one. Okay, we did both wires and now we need to get electrical tape and just do each one of them separately and then both of them together just to prevent some bad luck situation or wire coming out or something because it, this is the airbag and you don't want the airbag to ignite okay so insulate both of them good okay just wrap them good and this should be good to go okay just like that so now what we need to do, we need to install the seat, the wires, then the seat, the bolts, and the last step is to hook the battery back up. Okay guys, let's check now and see. Okay, and as you can see, the airbag light is not on. So that's it, that fixed the problem. Thank you guys for watching us. We have the video how to reset it with Vacom on our channel. Feel free to check it out. Thank you for watching us and don't forget to subscribe. We upload about a new video every day.